Hey everybody, welcome back to another guide. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove a broken mic jack. I have my nice Sony camera here that I do most of my videos on, but today I'm recording on my phone because my phone, my camera was on my tripod the other day, knocked it over with my big feet, and it broke the mic off right inside the camera. Now there's a lot of videos on how to remove it using like a Bic pen, but I've had this happen before and I'm gonna show you a remedy that's really cheap, really, really effective if you just wanna get it done and not have to hassle with anything. So let's jump right into it. So there's lots of videos on the internet using a Bic pen. You can get like a 10 pack at a dollar store. You know, you can just take the top off and remove the pen and then just take the end cap Put it inside here supposedly, you know, stretch it out a little bit and then use that to go into the actual port, push it in and remove the uh, jack. I've never found this to work that well, so I do not recommend even fussing with it. What I find to work better is grab yourself like a finishing nail or pretty much any nail that has a de decent head on the end that's about the same size diameter as your jack port and then pick up some quick setting epoxy. This stuff's like a dollar on Amazon I'll put a link below, maybe a little bit more, maybe two bucks. It's a two part super glue, you mix equal parts together and once this stuff sets within about an hour, it is like cement. All right, I got a little toothpick here to mix it. We're not gonna need a lot, so unscrew it. Just use a little bit there and then we're gonna take the second one, add about the same amount. Again, this stuff doesn't work unless it's mixed together. Take the toothpick mix it together for about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, it has been about a minute. Now we don't need a whole lot. You don't wanna to put too much on there on the nail head where it'll drip down into your camera. We're just gonna put a little bit on the end. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. I hate using my phone for my videos because it doesn't focus worth a darn. But once I get my microphone fixed, we'll be back using this camera. So now, you're just gonna to wanna to place it on top of the broken port and hold on to it, I'd say for about a minute to two minutes until it starts to set. And then we're gonna let it sit for about one hour, preferably 24 hours if you really wanna make sure it works, but an hour is usually all it takes. But definitely hold the nail on for at least two minutes. All right, now with any luck, just gently pull. <laughs> there it is. Did bend the nail a little bit, but it still held. Pulled that little sucker out. Look at that little, little punk. All right, now I can happily switch back to my previous camera, which is much better quality. I know my videos lately have not been that good. It's because I've been using my phone versus my nice Sony here, but we are back in business. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's quick video on how to remove a broken audio jack from a port. If you found this video informative, please hit that like button. And uh, if you do try this method, please leave your comment below. I'd love to know how it turned out and hopefully it worked for you as well. So see you in the next video.